Stray Russian missiles feared to have landed in Poland. Stray Russian missiles were feared to have crossed into Poland on Tuesday, in what would be the first time NATO territory has been struck during the Ukraine war, as the Kremlin unleashed an intense attack on Ukraine that left 7M homes without power. Two people were killed in an explosion in an eastern Polish village, prompting the government in Warsaw to hold an emergency meeting, while the 100-missile attack on Ukraine was so serious that power supplies in a third country, Moldova, were also cut. The explosion in Poland destroyed a tractor in the village of Przewado, about 3 miles 5 kilometers from the border, on a day when the western Ukrainian city of Lviv was hit. Mateusz Morawiecki, Poland's prime minister, urgently convened the country's Council of Ministers for National Security and Defense, the government spokesperson, Piotr Muller, said, without immediately specifying the reason for the emergency meeting. After the meeting a Polish government spokesman said they were examining whether they needed to call an emergency NATO meeting and were placing military units on heightened readiness. The White House also said it could not confirm reports coming out of Poland and was working with the Polish government to gather more information. The Russian Defense Ministry in a statement denied its missiles crossed into Poland, calling the reports a deliberate provocation. The statements of the Polish media and officials about the alleged fall of Russian missiles in the area of Przewado is a deliberate provocation in order to escalate the situation. No strikes on targets near the Ukrainian-Polish state border were made by Russian rockets. The wreckage published by the Polish media from the scene in the village of Przewado has nothing to do with Russian weapons. Some analysts said it was also possible a missile could also have come from a Ukrainian air defense system. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said the incident was a significant escalation of the conflict. Russian missiles hit Poland, Zelensky said, according to a text accompanying his nightly video address. He did not provide evidence of the strikes. Some analysts said that they believed that photographs of missile debris at the scene were of a Ukrainian S-300 air defense system that would have been engaged in shooting down a Russian missile, but it was not possible to corroborate those reports. A deliberate attack on a NATO member could in theory lead to the invocation of the alliance's Article 5, which states that an attack on one member of the military alliance is considered an attack against all. But the NATO treaty is highly unlikely to be triggered by an accidental attack. Ukraine warned its energy situation was critical as a result of the Russian strikes, which hit 15 energy sites as well as residential buildings, with reports that half of Kiev, 80% of Lviv and many other regions were without power. Water, heating and internet traffic were also disrupted, while the air raid sirens could no longer work because of the loss of electricity in the most intense missile attack seen since the start of Russia's autumn bombing campaign. Earlier Ukraine's president, addressing the G20 by video link, called on the leaders to support Ukraine to end the war on its terms, the primary one being that Russian troops leave all of Ukraine, including the areas it occupied in 2014. President Volodymyr Zelensky, who had earlier addressed the world's leaders in Bali with his peace proposals, released a short video message acknowledging the scale of the attack. We are working, we will restore everything, we will survive, he added.